Every summer, the Raleigh County Humane Society faces monetary struggles. With so many animals not spayed or neutered, there's a tremendous influx of intake. It is kitten season. This little guy's been with us for several months now, I believe. Um, we've finally been able to get him neutered. He's ready for adoption. But this is, if people don't spay and neuter, I mean, we get an influx of animals with kittens and cats and nursing mommies and mommies that are ready to have babies. With so many incoming animals, the shelter has to turn some people who have found strays away. Being at capacity means they desperately need volunteers and foster homes. But it helps us a lot because when we get in nursing dogs or nursing cats, they, it's too young, they're too young to be in a shelter setting. They're very susceptible to getting anything. They're too young to be vaccinated. And vaccines are a big thing in the shelter just because of the simple fact it helps keep disease down. A lack of volunteers is the least of their concerns. With little money in the bank, it's hard to run a no-kill shelter. Animals not only need food and a place to sleep, they need shots and life-saving surgeries. Without help from donations, volunteers, and foster homes, the shelter may have to close its doors for good. Supplies and medical bills add up quickly, so the shelter is asking for donations. So far, only $200 has been raised through Facebook. Some have dropped off supplies like dog food and cat litter at the shelter. I mean, I hate to think of the shelter ever having to close the doors and not be able to take care of the animals in this county. But, you know, if we don't get what's needed, then that's always going to be a possibility. Reporting for you in Raleigh County, I'm Cassie Simmons, News Watch.